is so difficult with dropping me in my office and then continuing to your office from there. But honey, that's the same reason I got you a car. And what reason is that exactly? So I don't become your chauffeur anytime you want one. Really? Yes, darling. Are you serious right now? Wait, don't you even think it's a way to show how much you love your woman? You should honor me by driving me to wherever and whenever I saw them wish for. Despite the fact you bought me a car, damn it. Honey, come on. No greater honor can a man give to his woman than put a ring on her finger. And of course, make her feel extremely comfortable. Plus, I got you a car in your name, darling. That's so much already, you know. Oh, please, enough of your wise gimmicks. And don't you dare call me darling again. What? What did you say? You know what? I insist. Hey, honey, come on, don't be so selfish now. Come on, think it's about it. It's either me. you take me to my office this morning, or we both stay put. We will not go anywhere. Helen, I just told you I have a meeting, and of course I cannot reschedule it. It's really important I go, please. Really? Let's see how that goes. Carol, what are you doing? Carol! What are you, what are you doing? There! Your clothes are soaked. Let's see how I get to your meeting now. And what are you going to do about it? What? What's that all about? Oh, I just told you. If it's either you drop me at my office this morning or we both stay close. Kachi. Kachi, why are you why are you worried? Like what, what's bothering you? It's nothing serious. It's just me pondering over the little issue that my wife had earlier today. You know women and their troubles. Right, so what is the issue this time around? Nothing that should have been a big deal. Just that Karen wanted me to drop her off before coming to work today. But I declined because I had fixed a meeting for today already and... And? She flayed up. Laid up. Why? She got really mad at me. She was so pissed. She said so many things, so many negative things to me. I, before I knew it, she picked my clothes, the ones I had planned to wear to work today. She dunked them into the bucket of water. Uh, wait, there's something I don't understand here. Why would she do such? Wait, is there any other issue? Or is it still the same issue we're talking about? What are you? I'm talking about someone that I made sweet, sweet love to the previous night. We had good moments together. But while I don't think I understand what you're saying, because why would you drop in her half at work now turn an issue like this? No, I, I mean, she could have probably driven a car to work herself or even go to work with taxi. I, I think those are better options. So why, why, why do all this? You know, some women, they don't think twice before reacting. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, they don't care. Like, why on earth would she be angry with me right now? I don't think not even explain it. Man, I feel so sorry for you, trust me. So, what do you, what do you plan to do now? So I don't know. I'm so pissed off right now. I'm just trying everything within my power to control myself. I was really, really mad earlier. My day has been terrible, trust me, but... What do I do? I love her so much. Even I'm still angry. I love her. Oh, sh I must confess, I really provoked Kachi this morning. I can't even believe I did that. I'm sure he's very mad at me. I'm actually quite scared of what he'll do when he gets back from work. Like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Karen, 
What have you done this time around? And if it's that bad, why does it seem like you're not sorry about it? Well, because I'm not. Why should I be? <laughs> okay, so can you please tell me what transpired between you and your husband? The thing is, I asked Pachi this morning to drop me off at work. You know, my car is in the mechanic and he blatantly refused. Can you imagine that? Okay, so I, I don't see any problem in that. I'm sure he had his reasons. Yeah, yeah he mentioned something about some meeting that couldn't wait, but uh, please. If I could remember vividly, your workplace is totally different from his, so what wrong did he do? Forget it. You won't understand anyway. Anyway, um, so I took the clothes he had prepared to go to work with and I dumped them in water. You what? Harry, you, you did. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what did you do? I'm sure he must be really angry. Oh, Sharon, anger does not even begin to describe how he felt. He was livid but he did nothing that's why i'm on urge like i'm sure that that anger is still there somewhere like i can't wait for when he comes back from work i can't wait for what he wants to do i'm actually scared <laughs> just a little bit scared karen you are playing with fire oh please let it burn i can't even wait <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we needed to see him this morning. Driving past the florist shop today, and this book where it caught my attention. I thought how much you love flowers, and what a perfect gift to say I'm sorry to the love of my life. I don't understand. I mean, I got you mad earlier, didn't I? I dumped your clothes in the bucket of water, and. You're saying you're sorry? Yes, darling. That's because I refuse to drive her to work. Look, my love. My greatest desire is to put a smile on your beautiful face every single day of my life. I don't ever want to get you angry. Not for a day. I love you so much, my heart. Mm. Now, will you forgive me? Yeah, sure. Hey, thank you. You like it? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Hey, okay, come here. I love you so much, my heart. I don't ever want to get you angry at all. It's so beautiful. So how was the day? Ah, um, quite the day. Mm -hmm.
Wakey, wakey. Breakfast in bed for the queen of my heart. Oh, honey, this smells so nice. Do you like? How about you sit up, eat, go have your bath, and I'll wait for you downstairs so I can drop you off at work. Come on, honey. Mm -hmm. That that won't be necessary. Why not? I drive myself to work. I mean, my car is here. Come on, darling. I hope you're not saying this because of what happened yesterday. Oh, no. You sure? Good. Go ahead. Hey, come here. I love you so much. I love you too. Hey, eat up. I will. So I'll just go have my bath, get ready, and go to work. Okay. See you when I return. All right. I love you so much, darling. And I will always love you. <laughs> I didn't know you're still around. Good morning, Karen. Is there a problem? Um, no, no, not really. I, I came to see Sharon. I hope she's around. Excuse me. Smiling so radiantly, eh? You and your husband have made up. Yes, you did. Ah, you did. I see. <laughs> okay, so no major explosion. No life-threatening situation. Huh? No. On the contrary, Kachi came home bearing flowers. Telling me he's sorry, he upset me by refusing to take me to work. Like, can you imagine? You don't mean no, I, I actually do believe because any man that wants to react, to react immediately, you put his clothes in the bucket of water. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I am right. But the thing here is that you seem dissatisfied. Well, because I am dissatisfied. Why? I mean, I just... I just wish Kachi has a little more passion in him, you know? It's just... Be a little bit more passionate. Passion? How, please? For the love of God, Sharon. Which man will retaliate dunking his clothes in a bucket of water with a bouquet of flowers and breakfast in bed the next morning? Instead of giving you a dirty slap, like, how? Karen! Also, you prefer a slap, huh? I. I. I no, 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 of course not. I mean, I, I don't. Not like that. And I don't. No, just, just forget it. You won't understand. Please try and make me understand, because I don't get it. Pay me no mind, my darling. I should just have to go to work because I came to tell you we made up. That's just it. Okay. Mm. But I'm really happy for you. Believe me. Hmm. He even offered to drop me off at work this morning to make up for yesterday, like, who does that? Karen, you are lucky. You are. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I guess I am. Um, uh, darling, I have to go. All right, darling. Be good. Have a good day. Take care. Yeah.
Oh, come on, darling. I'll tell you what. Last night's booklet was to soften your heart to accept my apology. But today, I want to take you to somewhere special, somewhere private, somewhere calm. Just the two of us. My father taught me to always put a smile on your woman's face. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Really? Even when there's no occasion? Darling, lesson 101 to being a real man. Create the occasion yourself. Never stop giving a gift. Always put a smile on a beautiful face. Well, thank you, Mr. Love Doctor. <laughs> But you have to remind me to thank your father for raising you and grooming you into being a real man. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll do just that. So what do you say to my request for taking you out this lovely evening? Okay. Well, um, I've considered your plea and your persuasion. And yes, I'll go to dinner with you, my love. Okay then. So just get ready. I'll come pick you up by six. Okay, baby. See you soon. Bye. I love you too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Put in my cup now. Take me to the agree with me. This is what the bedroom is meant for. There are kids around. Oh, okay. Take me to the I don't want to understand it. Come on! What the hell was your friend carrying on her husband misbehaving like two teenagers for drive? That's disgusting to say the least. Oh, that is according to you. On the contrary, what I saw there was two people deeply in love and not ashamed to show it. Wow, you say so? Yes. That's the kind of things you like. Right? You like when a man shamelessly displays an animalistic instinct by undressing his wife in public places. Just like that fool Kachi was doing just now. Yes. Yes, I do. 
Not just that, I, I love it when a man buys flowers for his wife after a fight, even though she's not even the one at fault. Just like Achi. How dare you? How dare you compare me with that, 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 that unfortunate being living next door? Who allowed us lust for his wife but allowed a sense of reasoning? How dare you? Marcus, it is not called lust. It is called love and respect. When a man loves his wife, he will, he will worship the ground that she walks on. He will not hit her. It is called love <sighs> and respect. Let's see. It's love and respect, you know. And Kachi loves and respects her. Do you know why? Because she worked for it. And she has earned it. This is someone who works in one of the biggest firms in the country. While you, on the other hand, what are you doing here? You're nothing. You're nothing but a damn liability to me and anyone you come in contact with who's picked up from the humblest background that isn't even humble enough to appreciate the things that has been done for her. You're a goddess. <laughs> My darling, I hope your husband wasn't angry about yesterday. You know, <laughs> I am good. She, <laughs> my husband was full of indignation. Oh, but Karen, how could you guys? How I know, right? Jesus. We were totally shameless. Shameless is putting it mildly <laughs> like you both wanted to eat each other right there and oh. then. Oh, oh Marcus, <laughs> his moralistic mind could not even handle it. Oh. Dear, I am so sorry. I honestly don't know what came over Kachi. Please, whatever came over him, thank God it is inside of him because a lot of women are praying for that. I know, right? <laughs> oh my God, oh last time was... Wait, what's the mark on your face? What mark? Uh, um, I... You know, it's, it's a cream reaction. Like, my skin got burnt and... Makeup couldn't cover it. I'm sorry. Don't worry. It's, it's going. It's going off. Cream reaction. Yes, it's a cream reaction. Oh, you don't have to worry, Karen. It's it's going off. It's fine. Uh, it's healing. <laughs> um, hey, um, is your husband at home? No, 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 no. He's not. He's Can not. we go talk? I mean, I've been so bored at home. You know, I didn't work today. It's just been crazy. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, what is it you want to tell me? Because I have to go prepare food for my husband. You'll be back from work very soon. I really? Mm-hmm. Well, Kashi is the one making lunch today, so I'm not really bothered. Your husband cooks for you. Sharon, you make it sound like it's a discovery for Guinness Book of Records. Of course, Kashi cooks from every now and then. <laughs> On the contrary, Marcus will never step his foot in the kitchen. Not even for a paper towel. <laughs> never. Well, they say different strokes for different folks, right? Indeed. <laughs> um, actually, um, Sharon, I brought you in here so you can tell me the truth about your face. Yes, girlfriend, I know that is no cream reaction. I know the max of a slap when I see one. Yes. Marcus slapped me and it was all my fault. Girl, 
What did you do to make him go to such lengths? Mm, I, I cannot compare him to another man. What? You didn't. Come on, girl. You know men are passionate beings. I mean, something like that would definitely prick their ego. Yeah, but not all men will act so violent. Like, I'm sure your husband will never hit you. Oh, please. Not all men are passionate. Believe me, I actually wish Kachi can be a little bit more passionate. Karen, be careful with what you wish for. Listen, I just love making up after a fight. I mean, the love making between couple when they make up is so intense. It's like feel the passion is like you're on a roll. But Kachi would never fight with me. I just wish for once we'll have an actual fight. I don't even mind if it's physical, but just for once. Oh my God, right? Where's my car? Oh, darling, um, the mechanic called this morning. They said your car is not ready yet. But I'm what? Talking, I'm talking my way to work. Oh, babe, that wouldn't do. I mean, I have to get to the office. I have a conference I have to go to. I told you about my conference and I'm practically running late. But darling, the conference is not far from the office, is it? Wait, wait, so what are you implying? I should walk to the conference hall? Darling, all I'm saying is you can get a car from the office to the conference hall, that's it. Really? So what about you, Kachi? Why can't you pick a taxi to walk and let me use your car? Fine. Is that too much of a big deal? Please reduce your voice. Lower your voice, please. You don't think you're talking to your house. I don't care what anybody thinks right now. What I care about is I'm running late to my conference and you are being inconsiderately unfair. What is it going to be? Are you going to give me your car key or are you not giving me your car key? Let me know what I'm doing. It's all right. It's my car you want. Yeah, it's okay. You know, you really shouldn't make a mountain out of a mall there. I can... I can take the key? Yeah, go ahead. I'll just grab a taxi to walk. Come on, keep going before you run late. Oh. Uh, I need to wash up this and get my laptop, okay? See you. Yeah, I have that. Come on. I love you. Yeah. You stay out there, okay? Yeah. so disgustingly nice and understanding. Good morning. You're alive. I thought you were dead. Regardless, I need a cup of coffee. Do you mind? All right. Marcus. Please, can we stop? Look, I am tired of this cold war. I can't continue like this. You also do know that I do not like poor elves, Shara. You wiped out me, and you do owe me an apology. Yes, and that is why I am saying that I am sorry. I'm sorry. I, I never should have compared you to Kachi. Look, I promise it will never happen again. I promise. Do you expect me to believe that? For goodness sake, Sharon, after everything I have done for you, you had the effrontery to steal- Thomas, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again, okay? Please just forgive me. Hmm? I don't want us fighting. I, I've really missed you. Tell me you've forgiven me, please. What is 
justice. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Why are you behaving like some dirty prostitute? Marcus, Since when did this start? Marcus, why would you say that? I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just trying to... You're, 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 you're trying to do what? Why are you blabbering like some dirty prostitute? I'm behaving like someone that has been starved of lovemaking for the longest. Well, What's that? Haven't I been starved of lovemaking? Or am I wrong? Besides, it's not a crime if I should express how I feel. Why are you making me feel ashamed of my needs? Oh, you sh you shut up. Damn it. Ashamed is exactly what you should be. And not you sitting here and, 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 and behaving nasty. And I will stay here and watch my old wife behave like a prostitute. If I need a prostitute, I know exactly where to go get them from. Nonsense. But you come in here to bite my lips. Oh, Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Oh, Marcus. Like some idiot. Do you want to deform me? Do you tear me apart? Do you want to bite me and deform me? The love making of a couple after a fight. It's always so intense, so passionate, so. Oh, Karen. So much about love making after a fight. Sorry, Kachi. I don't think I'm in the mood to do justice to that meal. Hey, honey, what is wrong? What happened out there? By the way, you don't look so picky. That is because I'm not picky, as she put it. Hey, you can't tell that it will happen out there. I lost the pitch. I lost the damn contract. Sorry about that, darling. Don't worry, you'll be the next time. I'm so sorry, darling. Mr. Amazon in a much better mood. I hope I won't have my hair chopped off if I come close. Can you please stop? I'm not even playing any of those jokes. Hey, darling. I understand how you feel, okay? But I just need to tear up. I'm sorry about your lost. And I'm sorry about your lost. Come on, think of it. What really happened? It's my stupid colleague. A contract we've been working on for weeks and on the day of presentation she forgets important documents. I could 
didn't do my presentation right. She forgot a document. Like, who does that? That's <gasps> odd. How should we think like that? Look, next time you guys should put things in place before attending such meeting because it's really important. Excuse me, are you calling me stupid? No. Oh no, I hear you. You're calling me stupid. I... Have I ever lost a contract before? Well, I didn't say this it. silly girl smed my, my, my record and you're here calling me stupid, you're blaming me? I am not. I'm just saying this is the first time to everything, but you can you guys can always get better, yeah, that's it. What are you even saying? Can you hear yourself? Are you telling me it's okay to lose? No, I didn't say that, darling. I'm just... It's the first time, honey. You, you will always win. Catching some things are not meant for some people. It's not for everybody. I do not lose. Darling, you are overreacting. Just calm your nerve down a bit, okay? Relax. <gasps> okay, I think I know how to make you feel better. Come here, darling. Let me just help. Will you get off me? What is wrong with you? What is this? I'm sorry. Oh my you... goodness. Why are men such perverts? One minded perverts. What? You think sex is a solution to everything? Just no, no, don't, don't even do that. I'm disappointed. At this very moment, you disgust me, so please don't even come close. Jesus Christ. and take this trash you set me on the name of food. Don't be unfortunate. You wouldn't. When all you do is absolutely nothing in this house. Simple work, you cannot even work. Just the basic for you to do, sit at home and become a housewife. Still you can't. This is all I get for it. You're totally useless. What are you doing here? You can go ahead and eat this. But I hope you enjoy it. the saying that you hurt a man's ego when he rejects his sexual advances and that in turn brings out the best the vengeful spirit in them what if I join Kachi what if I make some advances towards him would he reject me like I rejected him earlier I mean, would he push me away? I practically called him stupid. I mean, I called him a pervert. <laughs> I definitely. 
definitely deserve a slap, if I do say so myself. Ah, well, get on with it already, Karen. problem is. I think I figured it out. Kachi loves me too much. Like, so much that it is unhealthy for him. <laughs> Seriously, Karen, I am perplexed at the way you think. Huh? How is showing someone you love them unhealthy? When a man begins to behave less of a man in the name of love, that's unhealthy. Oh, so your husband showing you how much he cares about you makes him less of a man. <laughs> For your information, a lot of women out there, including myself, admire your husband. I just wish once or twice, sometimes he can put his foot down and adamantly assert his rights. Do you get? I mean, I push that man to the extreme almost every other time and not once has he responded or reacted not even with a slap like it's crazy oh my god karen why would you wish for your husband to slap or even beat you i don't mean it like that then why on earth do you want him to go physically rough with you that's the kind of man i like someone like your husband for instance <laughs> Karen, you do not know what you are saying. Sharon, just... You don't. Understand me, okay? I am a domineering person. And I just hate it when my man gives in to everything I want without putting up a fight, without... Just gives in like a sissy. It's boring. It's annoying. No, just, just forget it. Yeah, that reminds me. So, <clears throat> have you have you received Karen's car from the mechanic shop? Yeah, the mechanic guy brought it earlier this morning. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. At least I can now relax as your driver now. <laughs> Come on, get out, Charlie. What is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, you know I wouldn't hesitate to do the same thing for you. So what are you uh, saying? No, 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 trust me, trust me. That was just a joke. Mm. Now, what, what are friends for? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but, but come to think of it, Kachi. You've been going to work since all this while with the taxi. Just because Karen's car is faulty? What is this? That's my wife we're talking about, buddy. And you know how much I love her. Oh, come on, yeah, yeah, tr 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 like, Trust me, I understand. I know. But I, I know your life's purpose is to make her happy. Exactly. But then. <sighs> Are you sure she appreciates all these things you're doing to her? Sure. Excuse me, let me take this call. Hello? Hello, brother. Uh, it's me, also your brother. And you will not even believe it that I'm in front of your compound right now. Not so? You're in front of my house in Lagos? Since when? Ah, uh, uh, no, brother, why would you be asking questions like that? Have you forgotten I told you last week that I'll be coming to Lagos this week for an interview? Oh, no, sorry, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. It escaped my mind. You're in front of my house, right? 
All right, so just go inside. My wife will take care of you, all right? I'll be back shortly. I actually just stepped out my friend to have a bottle of two. I'll be back shortly, okay? Hey, hey, now you're talking, brother. Now you're talking. Brother, please, one more thing. Hope your wife prepared a very delicious meal, though, because, brother, you know I'm coming from a farm. Of course! You're coming to Big Brother's house. Go inside and relax yourself. I'll be back shortly. All right, I'll see you soon. My cousin just going to town in my house right now. Oh, wow, that means you can just... Yeah, yeah. just yeah. worry about it and we go. Hello. Good afternoon, my wife. Hey, hold on. And who in God's name are you? Haba, my wife. Are you trying to say you cannot recognize me again? I'm not so now, your husband's uh, my cousin. Oh. Fernanda is said I can see some resemblance. Uh, the thing is, I called your husband before coming here. And then he told me he was at the bar. That I should come here and wait for him. I see. Well, I'm not going to let you stand outside, so... I guess you can come in. Yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> Hey. Hey, one more thing, my wife. Why you're going inside? Please get me something to eat. You know I'm coming from afar. And uh, all the worms in my belly, they're already making noise. Eh? Hey, cool. Thank you. So is my cousin for Christ's sake. And so what? Did the pastor wear three of us? Honey, you can't just decide that my cousin is not going to stay here. That he's not welcomed here. It's not nice. Like, he's not coming to stay here forever. Just a couple of days after the interview is out. I don't care how long he wants to stay. I don't even care what brought him to this city. You should never have allowed him come here without consulting me first. Right? But I told you I totally forgot, honey. I did. It escaped my mind. You only called me when he was outside the house. That's it. Whatever the case may be, my answer is still no. He's not staying here. Honey, please stop being so callous and unreasonable. Do you expect me to throw my cousin out of the house? Oh, please, don't be melodramatic. What is this? That's what hotels are for, emergencies like this. Oh, please stop it. I mean... Babe, look, all I'm trying to say is that... Don't make me look bad in front of my cousin. Please, I beg you. I can't throw him out like that. Honey, please, just... So, my house is not so conducive at the moment. So I have decided to take you to a hotel where you can have your bath, have a good meal, and of course, be more comfortable. Comfortable? Well, I'm more comfortable here now. And you know I wouldn't mind even sleep on the couch. Oh. You know we have a lot to talk about, most especially news I bring from the village, but Oh yeah, that is true, but... But you see, I'll come from the office to the hotel, We'll hang out and we'll talk about a whole lot. I just think it's best we go to the hotel then before it's late. 
Yes, uh, if you say so. What can I please say? Oh, no, my no, 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 don't worry. She's indisposed at the moment. Ah. Yeah, let's go before it's late, please. All right, then, if you say so. Then. What does that mean? Well, what do you mean by that? What do I mean? Karen, you made me send my cousin to a hotel when I have two empty rooms in this house. How inconsiderate can you be as a... No, 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 hold on. Hold it right there. I'm sorry, how? What are you talking about? You sent your cousin to a hotel instead of allowing him to stay here in your home. Why are you blaming me? Karen, what are you talking about for Christ's sake? Jesus Christ, were you not the one that almost pulled down this roof because my cousin came and announced and because we didn't inform a royal majesty that he was coming? Well, all right, all right, fine. Yes, yes, I said it. So, did I say she go along with whatever I say just like that? <sighs> Karen, what are you talking about? Oh, God. Do I have to spell out to you how to be a man? Should I teach you that? Hold on a minute. Why do I have this feeling that you're trying to say something I'm not concerned about? Something I'm totally clueless about. <laughs> clueless! That's the word right there. Clueless. You know, sometimes I ask myself, how in God's name did I manage to fall for a clueless man like you? Do you regret having anything to do with me? Do you regret getting married to me, man? Oh, God. No, forget it. You'll never understand. Excuse me. It's so hard to believe that my wife opened her mouth to tell me that she regrets having anything to do with me. Wait, I find it very difficult to believe you. Why, why, why would you say that? Well, she didn't put it this way to me, but in her exact words, this was what she was trying to tell me. So it's 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 killing me. I didn't know what to do at that moment. I was totally confused. And you know what? My cousin that came to see me the other day we were at the bar for an interview. I go home, Karen said he's not gonna stay in the house. I'm gonna have to take him to the hotel. I took him to the hotel this day when I have now. I have two empty rooms in my house. She refused. But, but why? I didn't inform her that my cousin was coming to stay. Not like he was coming to stay for a year or a month or something. Just a couple of days for his interview and he's out. I begged, I begged my wife. It's crazy actually. It's just because, okay. Now I understand where she's coming from. I understand why she's upset. But why wouldn't you want your, your family to stay in your house? Fine, I understand. 
She's my wife. She, she's the, she's the owner of the house. She has every right to decide who comes to stay or who doesn't come. But now, so is my family, my cousin. To think that I begged her, I told her he was come to stay for a couple of days. She refused. It's, it's crazy, actually. I still can't believe she's treating me this way. See, do you know this is all? The care you show her is damn too much. You're a man, you need to man up. You're the man of the house for crying out loud. You need to have a say in that house. You need to man up. But I, I, I love you. Know, see, 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 see. Do you know that this is actually the consequences of the things you're doing? Or the things you've done? Judges, what are you talking about? She's my wife. I love her so much. She, she means everything to me. What would you have me do? I don't want any issues with that. The, the, the truth is, I think she's falling out of love with me. I think she doesn't love me anymore because I, I'm, I'm so scared. Cletus, I am scared because I, I cannot live without her. How am I going to, how am I going to survive? She means everything to me. She's, she's my life. She's, I'm so scared to lose her. Just, just calm down, okay? Just relax. It's crazy. Just, just take your drink, take your drink. Just drink up, okay? Drink up, man. in my office. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just that I really needed to talk to you and it's important. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so what do I owe this honor then? Well, Karen, I am desperately in need of a job and I know you're the only one that can help me. A job? But why serving the job? I mean, you never seem to be bothered. My friend, look, I am tired of being fed handouts. I can keep asking my husband every time I need money for something, for sanitary part, panties, and no, I need <laughs> to earn my own money. Yeah, I, I understand. I totally get you. Um, I'll look into it. Thank you so much. I really need to earn my own money. My self-worth and respect depends on this. Oh, no, that's okay. I got you. Uh -uh. Thank you. You finally want to work. Come on. <laughs> Enough about me. Tell me what is happening with you and your husband, Kachi. Oh. Kachi, Kachi, Kachi. Kachi and I are actually at war with each other. We're not talking to each other. He's not talking to me, vice versa. Harry, what have you done this time around? How? How did you just assume I'm the one who's the problem? Because I know you. And whenever there's a problem, you are at fault. So I would advise you to go back home and apologize to that fine man. Oh, what you're doing is not really right, you know? It's not fair. You are my friend. How do you always support the man? Like... There is a saying, you do not know what you have until you lose it. Fine, heard you. Anyway, hey, say, um, you go to lunch or are you cooking for your husband today? Yeah, I still have to come for him. <laughs> As usual. Ah, that's okay. Anyone home? Because it's not home yet, silly. Okay, let's do this. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to take this to the room then. He has to notice this. Remember the song? 
I... Yes. This is the song that was playing at the party we met. Yeah. That was the day I fell madly in love with you. And you know what? No. Um, what? I've continued to fall in love with you ever since. With you. There's no gain in equilibrium. Only with your life is so complete. I feel so blessed waking up on your side every morning. Staring at your beautiful face. Your beautiful eyes. I love you so much, darling. I do. Lately, I, I have this feeling that you're not so happy with me. I don't know what I did. I feel so uncomfortable. But honey, whatever I did, knowingly or unknowingly, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I am not done yet. I just want you to forgive me. Just say it. That's what I want. I have to. Tell me you forgive me, please. Of course, of course I forgive you, babe. Thank you. Of course. me to it. You don't mean it. I'm serious. I come home with this I'm sorry card I got and in a bit to surprise him or make it more noticeable by him I decide to put it by his bedside you know and I walk into the room and I see our bed filled with petals. Rose petals. I see wine ice cream and I see him there with flowers again asking me to forgive him. Like, oh, it was a romantic gesture, though. Ah, so if it were a romantic gesture, why do you sound so exasperated? Oh, because I am. I mean, I just wish Kachi had hushed me up or put me in my place over his cousin's issue. Why agree with me? Oh, wait a minute. On the contrary, he is doing the direct opposite of what you want. That means he is courteous, loving and respectful. Exactly my point. I won't be surprised if I kill him one day and his spirit walks up to me and tells me he's sorry for making me commit a crime. Like, <laughs> oh. oh my God, Karen, please spare that man. He's actually not bad. I didn't say he's bad, you know, it's just, you know what? Enough about me and Kachi. I got to the job you're looking for. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you were so precious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's oh my friend. god. Okay, so tell me about the work and when am I going for the interview? Oh no, no, you don't want me going for any interview. I got to the job. You resume on Monday. It's actually um a supervisor for a boutique. My friend owns a boutique, but she doesn't stay in the country and she's looking for someone she can trust. And she trusts me and I trust you and you got the job and the pay. Oh my God. If I say so myself. Really? Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome, you. darling. Finally. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. So just get ready. Yes, okay. Marcos, 
Can you please pay attention? I have something important to tell you. And what is it that is so important you are talking to me about? The thing is, I, uh, I want to tell you that I have gotten a job and I will be starting on Monday. I got a job and will be resuming on, on Monday. Okay. I heard you. But my question is who told you that you could go elsewhere and go seek for a job without my consent? I, I didn't realize that I, I needed your permission to get a job. And with the rate at which you insult me every day about being jobless, I thought you'd be happy about the news. Oh, you. You thought wrong. So now I expect you to go back to whatever and whoever thought they could employ you and inform them that your husband said you won't be able to accept the job offer. What? You heard me. And that won't happen. I, I can't do that. Besides, I, I need this job and I need my respect back. Sharon. Yes. Since when? You now talk back at me? No. Sleep. I'm sorry. So you're no growing wings. I'll make sure to clip those wings of yours. This hell called marriage. Look at me. Oh God, this was never the perfect marriage I envisioned. Just take a good look at me. I have no one to talk to. I feel so alone. But you have to bear it, Sharon. Just as always, unless you want the society, your relatives to stigmatize you for giving up and becoming a divorcee. <sighs> of course, it's unheard of in my family. Like my mother will always say, buckle up, Sharon. You have to bear it. Just bear it. Please, um, Karen, please, if you don't mind, can I have a word with you? Hello. Um, 
print this one minute. Okay. Um, yes? Um, you see, my wife, Sharon, told me that you helped her in getting a job. Oh, yes, I did. The job is a very beautiful one with a very nice pay package. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> I really, really appreciate your kindness. Oh. Yes. But you see, my wife doesn't need a job. Mm -hmm. You can call me a journalist. It's, it's fine. But you see, I like my wife taking very good care of the mom while I provide her with everything she needs. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's okay, Marcus. I totally understand. So if that's not a problem, I will appreciate that you go back to wherever you helped her in getting that job from and inform them that my wife Sharon will not be able to resume work on Monday as agreed. That's okay. I'll do that. Definitely. So that's all. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I love what you're wearing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bye bye. Bye, Sharon. So my love, shall we? Some men really know how to take charge. So what does Sharon tell us about Marcus? Oh, Marcus. Nothing really. He just wanted to tell me that the job I got for Sharon was not necessary. Uh, he said he'd rather have Sharon at home, taking care of him and taking care of their home. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a totally archive and tyrannical thing to say. Yeah, he ought to allow her walk if she wants to walk. This is no longer a stone age you get. Women should be allowed to express themselves freely in their marriages and, of course, in their personal lives. Oh, Kachi. Some men are not like that. I mean, Marcos doesn't see it that way. I guess what he's trying to say is, why bother work when he's capable of providing all that she needs. I mean, some men are still old-fashioned, you know? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, on the contrary, I think he's trying to cage her. No, on the contrary, I think that what Marcus is doing is called being a man. And some people should go take lectures from him instead of bad-mouthing him. Go learn how to be a real man. Here. Uh, yeah, I just came to eat. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go somewhere quiet so that we can talk. We have a lot of catching up to do. Is it me? Ah, me? <laughs> Look, I, I can't wrap my head around how you left being a housewife to a businesswoman. I, I remember when your husband didn't even want you to work. He used to lock you in the house and go away with the keys. Those were the worst days of my life. Ah, oh, it was terrible. Very five solid years of abusive marriage. I mean, I was so scared of what the society would say. Every night I cry myself to sleep. Why those whose opinion I greatly fear slept soundly? It was terrible. So what changed? That. Death? What do you mean death? What happened? A neighbor of mine, she was going through a similar situation. She woke up one day and decided that she couldn't take it anymore. She took her own life. What? <laughs> ha. 
the whole neighborhood was accept with the man. They threatened to kill him or pay him back in whatever way. He needed to see how angry everyone was. But guess what? After a few weeks, everybody moved on. Nobody asked questions. Nothing. And the man? Ah. Married a younger, prettier girl barely a year after he buried his wife. What happened with you? How did you live? I paid a heavy price for not living sooner than I should. But what do you mean by you paid a heavy price? I lost my womb. Yes. I had two miscarriages and the last one ended me in the hospital. Jesus. Oh my God. Is it a look at me? Look, in fact, I don't blame you for saying that. It's the abuse that is speaking through you. This is not you, Sharon. You are beautiful, powerful, and stronger than you can ever imagine, okay? Don't let this present situation determine what your future holds for you, okay? Look. Here is my card. Are you trying to tell me that you both haven't said to your differences yet? Talk to you the other way around. She seemed to have a problem with me. I don't know why, I don't know. I have this feeling she's trying to set me up. She's trying to test my patience. I just, just can't put it right. Wait. Testing you? How? After how many years in marriage? I honestly don't know how to put it. But I feel she's taking my humbleness, my calmness, my... My tenderness for stupidity. And it's eating me up. It's making me feel less of a person to her. My friend, you don't need to just feel less of yourself. See, you are like, you're practically the prayer answer for every young lady out there. So, what else would she want that you've not done? I've given her everything she ever asked for. Literally everything. I just don't know what to do anymore, I swear to God. What is, what is killing me is the fact that she makes me feel less of a man to her. Because she knows I love her so much. I just don't know what to do. I, honestly speaking, bro, I do not know how much longer I can be here. I don't know. Almost. Getting tired of everything, I, I don't know what to do. You've caused all this. You've given us no leverage. Like, and now she doesn't even know where to draw the lines. You, you are the man of the house. You need to man up. Take charge. I, 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 this can be overly emphasized, but then, catch it. Take charge as the man. Saturday night. Um, how about we go clubbing? <sighs> now, whatever did that spring from, Karen? You can't possibly mean that. Why not? Because we've never gone to the club since we got married. I know. But today's a good day and a good time to change that. What do you think? No. No to what exactly? We're not going to the club. I've never liked clubbing. Wait, are you actually saying no? Like, like, no? Look, honey, I would rather we stay at home, have a quiet moment as a family. We could borrow a movie for my split and watch. What do you think? No. No, what exactly? Look, you can stay here and watch a movie if that's what you want. I am going to the club with or without you. 
Karen. Karen? Karen? There's certain hearts to go club and it's coming from, but fine. What? If it's clubbing you want, club and we will go. Kachi, you're really just a pushover. What are you saying? What did I do? You want to go club and I said yes. Hey, listen, honey, we, 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 we can't. Can. Why? Have you forgotten your wife will be coming back in the early hours of the morning? Uh, From my video, have you forgotten? Well, it's not even necessary, I don't care. <laughs> what will happen if she finds me here? Uh, which means we'll have to do everything necessary to satisfy you know, ourselves. If you know what I mean. Uh -huh. Style of your punishment. The missionary or the Caesars? Oh, the Caesar. Or the butterfly. <laughs> so what's the mixture of reaction to me? This is ship. Get your filthy hands off my wife. Take a cheap bill, bro! This is a clubhouse! Who are you? Oh yeah, you wanna know who I am? You wanna see bullets fly tonight? No, 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 no. It's okay. You wanna see bullets fly okay. tonight? Now guys, sit down, sit down, sit down. No, sit down! Who is this guy? Go, 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 go. Of all things in this hell. 
me. But you brought your mistress, your side chick to our home, our matrimonial bed. Marcus. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. What the hell were you thinking returning from that vigil so early? Is that all you could say? I left the vigil because I was having a running stomach. Oh God. God knew there was something going on and he wanted me to see what has been going on behind my back. For God's sake, what's your problem? Why are you reacting? What's the problem? Why are you overflogging this? What's the big deal even by cheating? All you just need to do is enjoy it. Yes, I'm a man. And it's in a man's nature to cheat. Wow. Wonderful. Take all of it. All because you are a man, you think it is right for you to cheat. You know what, Lucas? I am tired. I am ready. There is nothing. I don't even want this anymore. I can't keep up with this. What could that possibly mean? You heard exactly what I said. I am done. All of this is over. You don't mean it, right? <laughs> then watch me. Sharon! Come on, Sharon! Sharon! forget that you are a married woman and that you went to the club with your husband? What got into your head? I'm sorry. I am, I'm really sorry, Kachi. I, I just wanted to provoke a reaction from you. That's all. I didn't mean it. Oh, you're scaring me now. I've never seen you this angry before. Please just calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. Don't you dare. I have had enough of your silly provocations and attitude. I've had enough. Baby. Is that Sharon? She just broke her arm. Just a broken arm, so nothing, nothing serious. Okay. Thank God. L let, let me see her real quick. I'll go take care of the bills. Yeah. Um, hold on a moment, um, Marcus. Um, I hope you don't mind my pride, but how on earth will you allow yourself to get so angry to the point of beating your wife? You'll learn to mind your business. Nobody called you and your wife to the rescue. Okay, so next time, learn not to put your nose where it doesn't belong. Please. Okay. Oh my dear Sharon, how long has this been going on? It doesn't matter, Kai. Look, I have decided that I won't keep up with this and that I'm also going to divorce him. Why didn't you tell me? I guess I was ashamed too. Especially when you always tell me how wonderful your marriage is compared to the hell I was living through. I, I just thought to pretend and play along since you thought my marriage was a bed of roses. I'm so sorry for all of this. It's fine. It's fine. 
<clears throat> hey, I've, I've paid the bill, so it's time to go home. No, Marcus. I am going nowhere with you. Hey, listen. I am not caught out for this unnecessary drama of yours. So you get us from here and let's go home. I don't want this nonsense. She will do no such thing. Okay? Officers, that is the man. Who's this, my friend? Who are you? And what's, what, what are you doing here? I will make sure you pay for all your crime. Everything you did to her. My friend? <laughs> you have to miss that. Because anything you say or you do, we use against you in court. You, Tachi, you called the police on me? Ah, you backstabbing traitor. No, he didn't. I did. You, what? Marcus, I cannot live like this anymore. I can't. Sharon. Ah, you regret this. I promise you, you regret this. After everything I did for you and your wretched family, and, you, and this is how you how you choose to repay me? Officers, take him away. You regret this. You regret this. I'll make sure you pay. My friend, my friend. You stay here. You stay here. You regret this. You regret this. You regret You regret this. You regret You regret I, I, I had a nightmare. I, I saw Marcus beating Sharon again. My darling, it's only a nightmare, okay? She's in safe hands, you know that. What? What if Marcus finds her again? Is she going to be alright? My darling, listen. My darling, listen. We have taken the necessary step to ensure she is under the protection of the law, okay? And of course, Azin is doing her best to make sure she's safe. You've done your part, and we will keep doing our part to make sure she's good, right? Hey, relax. She'll be fine, okay? Hey, relax and have hey, come here. It's all right. It's all right. Thank you so much, Katya. Thank you. I, I don't know what I would have done without you. Hey, honey, honey, come on. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We'll be fine, don't worry. She's soon safe hands now. I am so sorry for not being the friend I should have been. I should have listened. Karen, it's fine. Everyone has their own struggle. Oh. I'm just thankful for the support that I have right now. Oh, I know. I, I really just realized too late that I actually have a great man in Gachi. I mean, I, I can't believe I realized it this late. Look, you should cherish what you have. A lot of people do not get second chance at this. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm really so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I mean, I, I saw the signs. I should have just taken it seriously. Look, I am glad that you're here. And thank you so much for coming in when you did. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go now. Um, yeah, sure. The job you applied for is still available. You can still pick up where you left off. Thank you, but right now I'm going through rehabilitation and counseling with the foundation is in your works with. Oh, it's okay. I, I can't wait to see you stronger and better. I'll be fine, I promise. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh 
with Marcus finally behind bars and serving a long prison term. And Sharon recuperating. It finally dawned on me what a rare gem I have in a husband. Hmm. To think I was yearning for a man who would be as domineering as Marcus was. A total control freak. My God. What was I thinking? Sharon was right all along. You never know what you have until you lose it. Thank God it did not take me losing my dearly beloved Kachi to know what a fine, wonderful gentleman God had blessed me with. I have not stopped asking him for forgiveness. And there is no better time than our three years anniversary to show him how much I really, really appreciate him. Baby. Wait, hold on, hold on a minute. Am I in the wrong apartment? <laughs> Who taught you this? <laughs> How did you come up with this? Who advised you to do this? Wow. I am overwhelmed. I am surprised and I'm happy at the same time. This, this is beautiful. Um, I just wanted to appreciate you. Hey, honey. I just really wanted to appreciate you for being loving and a sweet, sweet, sweet husband. I do think that I had plans on taking you to somewhere special with candlelights and fireworks. Oh, babe, okay, that will still work. This doesn't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, this is beautiful, darling. It's, it's amazing. Babe, can you ever forgive me for mistaking your love for me as weakness and insulting that genuine love. Darling, I told you already. It's all in the past now, okay? I made a promise to myself never to visit the past. <laughs> you know what? I will always forgive you, no matter what you do. You know why? Why? Because you are my one and only soulmate. Oh. My true love. Hey, I love you more than life itself. I love you so much, darling. You, you don't understand. You don't. I love you too, baby. And believe me, I love how you love me. Hey, thank you for loving me. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, don't 